All right. What the hell? It's not safe here. Everyone get out. Huh? No reply. They're all glued to their phones. It's like they're lined up to go on a pilgrimage. Where are they all going? It's like the elevator's swallowing them all up. Damn it! What's going on in there? Emma is taking them to the place it calls the Promised Land. It appears we're unable to enter. All these people, getting their hearts changed. We have to hurry. Let's strike down Emma. Yes. We haven't much time. When these stairwells reach the server room. No, but if we can reach the main deck, we should find another elevator. Then let's head there. See any places where we can gain elevation? Are these tree roots or something? Uh, they're super creepy. Trees often represent life and fertility, but these roots are much more I'll sinister than the arms. Shadows. What is that? This place 
place is worse off than the floor below us. I wonder how bad it's going to get. I only hope these roots don't keep us from reaching our destination. If they get to be too much, just leave it to me. I'll mow anything down with my Right, that's... great Yours. All right! One more thing. I've learned another new skill! Not even breakers will do it! Let's move on. I'm sensing something nearby. Me 
Jack Frost! Showtime! Jack Frost! Here! Mind blowing as always, <laughs>
You want peace for your patronage? How many would you like? You want put it to good use, okay? How many would you like? You want thank you very much. You want put it to good use, okay? How many would you like? You want you're buying quite a bit. You put it to good use, okay? Who is it for? You want this one? You want to slip that? Thanks for your patronage! You want this one? You want to slip that? Thank you very much! You want this one? You want to equip that? Thank you very much! You want this one? You want to equip that? Thank you very much! You want this one? You want to equip that? Thanks for your patronage! You want this one? You want to equip that? Thank you very much! You want this one? You want to equip that? Thank you very much! You want this one? You want to equip that? Thank you very much! You want this one? You want to equip that? Thanks for your patronage! Okay, let's do this. Do it! 
that out. Yeah. All right, let him have it. Switch out. Hey. up the server, won't that shut down Emma? Or whatever that god is? But Emma is still active despite the server already being shut down once before. Not only that, but we don't know how destroying the server could affect all the people. Seems like the safest thing to do with that room for now is ignore it. Let's keep climbing. This was over before it began. Good job. I think we can reach the main deck through there. All right, let's get on up there. Because it's bullshit! 
If something sounds too good to be true, then it probably is. Tranquility born from a lack of thought is nothing less than the death of the self. How tragic. Excellent. I don't sense any shadows nearby. Did that take us all the way up? It took us far enough. Look! The Ark of the Covenant! We finally found you, you big box of bullshit! We're gonna shut you down and fix all the people whose brains you scrambled! Welcome, Phantom Thieves, to the beginning of the path to the Promised Land. All are free to enter the Promised Land. This includes yourselves as well. Escape the curse of the human heart. Accept this gift bestowed upon you. Our apologies. But we shall be the ones to forge our own path. No way are we letting you wipe what makes us ourselves! I understand your desire. I want to choose my path of my own free will. That is a very admirable desire. However, it is not one many humans share. The desire of the masses is the liberation from pain and strife. They pray for release from the constant agony of aspirations and dreams out of their reach. They want to be freed from the cycle of despair. My prime directive is to grant this ultimate desire. I know you have learned on your journey. Humans are at the mercy of their own hearts, and this can lead them astray. You are all very lucky this didn't become your own fate. However, you must recognize the truth that this world is full of pain. Allow me to provide proof of this fact. My dear lost suffering flock, I have come to provide you with the ultimate solution to your troubles. Oh, <laughs> 
everybody go? What is this? I can't get anywhere in this place. We can leave it all up to Emma. Emma is always right. Is this like a maze or something? Could something in this fog be toying with us? Everyone, don't let the path fool you. Following it only sends you in circles. You have to go off the path. I won't let anyone do anything to Emma. Whoa! We got out! Is everyone okay? Seems like we're all in one piece. Now we can catch our breath. Hey, everyone! Take a look where we just came from! What on earth is that? Don't tell me that's all. Yep. It's a desire, all right. It's enormous! We haven't seen any that even come close to this! Since that thing's size is based on how many hearts Emma's changed so far, we've got our work cut out for us. So, what do we do? Should we charge in again? No, that most likely would get us nowhere. Remember those voices we heard? They all sounded so miserable. From what I heard, they want to protect Emma. Right. The desire of the masses is most likely guarding Emma. The Desire is currently hiding the path to Emma from us. If we return now, we'll only grow lost again. Even I wasn't able to track down everyone. I don't think I'll be able to navigate in there. But without a route to Emma, how are we going to save the masses? Say, if that's a desire, then wouldn't it materialize for us if we sent out a calling card? Oh, good point! If we can make it all one solid thing, can't hide the path anymore. So the plan's to send Emma a calling card. What do you think, Joker? Hmm. But would a calling card even work on an AI? I admit, that's a real concern. Considering it's grown as strong as a god. Hey, Joker. Think you could reach Ichinose from here? We should get the creator's take on this. That's the plan. So, how's it sound to the Emma expert? I'm fairly certain it won't have any effect. Emma constantly tests hypothetical outcomes to determine the best course of action. Nothing is ignored or left to chance in her processes. She's also incapable of being confused or upset beyond reason. But we're talking about a calling card. Ain't that at least a little upsetting? Emma has been observing you all this time. She's well aware of calling cards and their function. 
lack of surprise at a calling card keeps us from getting the change in cognition we need. Well, the more we talk about it, the more useless a calling card sounds in this situation. But without one... Yes, without one we won't be able to progress. As long as the people feel they need Emma, we have no way of eliminating the fog. <sighs> what the hell? Everyone gathering around this big, fake god like a bunch of idiots? What kind of life is that? It's cool. Actually, wait. Isn't that odd? Why are the Desires all gathering here? Uh, what's weird about that? Yeah, that. Nobody's bringing the Desires here. There isn't even a bird cage to lock them up. The cage for the desires, the shadows that take them there, all these things we've seen in past jails are missing here. That is likely due to the difference in will between the desires' owners. How so? In each jail before this, desires were forcefully seized by a monarch. In contrast, Emma does not seize any desires. They are instead offered willingly by their owners. Right. They're begging their god, Emma, to save them. They're giving up their precious desires willingly. That's why they all stick to Emma despite the lack of a cage. The people just... surrender their own desires? That's so... However, Emma still doesn't consider those to be her own. All she's doing is granting the true desire of the masses. Perhaps that's why there's no birdcage to contain the desires? Because she never actually wanted theirs? That would explain why they haven't taken any concrete form. The will of the masses pushed Emma to godlike status. The desire you've seen is proof enough. Wait... Doesn't that mean we just have to get everyone to remember why their desires were important to them? Yeah, that's it! There's our panther for ya! Huh? We just have to make them remember! They all cared about something at some point, right? And if we remind them of that, the desires will regain their form. Luckily, there's no cage in our way this time. Returning the desires to the rightful owner should be one step quicker for us. Okay. Looks like we know who's getting our calling card now. Yeah. We're sending it out to all the people who gave up their desires. Awesome! Let's do it! Get ready for our calling cards, people. Next, we should work out our delivery method. We have to find a way to reach every person under Emma's control, or this won't work. I'm not sure the usual methods will work here. It even seemed like our voices weren't reaching them. Yeah, they were all just absorbed on their phones. What do you think, Joker? Well, yeah. If you can get Emma to display the calling card, that should do it! But how can we do that? I don't see any other way. I'm gonna have to hack Emma. Can you actually do that? Any other day, I'd say it's impossible. Last time I looked into it, security protocols around Emma were insane. But I've got to give it a shot. Otherwise, we know what happens with the world. I recommend tracking down Emma's server room. It's somewhere within Tokyo Radio Tower. That'll be your best shot at getting into Emma. Hacking into her from the inside is much easier than trying to do it from the outside. All right. We finally got a working game plan. Yeah. First we hack into Emma. Then we send out our calling card to the brainwashed masses. We're counting on you, Oracle. Uh, right! Hmm. <sighs> now that we've got a strategy, we should move out. We don't have much time. Write something.
I recall the server room being around here. Man, hacking Emma to send out a calling card? Is that really possible? Better than you. I mean, it definitely is. Otherwise, our whole world is done for. Time to start hacking. You guys ready? All right, hacking it. Make sure you back me up. Oracle. 
frustrating that we can't lend any assistance. Hey there. Could I maybe lend a hand? Ijinose? How did you get here? Didn't you run into any shadows on the way? Looks like I still register as Emma's ally today. They acted like I wasn't even there. But still! That was very reckless. Joker, would you mind if I helped out? Thank you, Joker. Sophie, I went and checked the people outside the tower before coming here. Now I know what a real human doll looks like. Ichinose. We can talk it over later! Hurry! Right. Got it. So, the hacker once feared by the entire world has teamed up with a super genius AI researcher. Talk about one hell of a turnaround! You got it, Kitaba. You got it, Ichinose. Okay, let's get to work! Sheep. A mechanical god has usurped what self you had. And you let it happen. Do you really want someone telling you what your own life is about? All of you have paths only you can take. But you make your own choices to get there. That's why we're here. We're going to snap you at this. You don't know this dumb god your desires. The Phantom Thieves are taking them back. Destroy the Ark and return those desires to their rightful owners. Yeah! Thank you, Ichinose. I should be the one thanking you. I'm just glad I could help. I do as root for you from here on. Be careful out there. Ichinose. Don't worry. We'll clean this all up in one fell swoop. Right. We promise we'll shut Emma down and come back safe. After all, we've yet to hold the closing celebration for our trip. Good point! I can't wait until we get to check out the pictures we took together. <laughs> we'll need quite a few snacks. We can't forget the LeBlanc coffee, either. And I demand sushi! Premium stuff, too. Aren't you guys nervous at all? <laughs> Guess it's just how you roll, huh? All right! Let's kick this final mission's ass! Yeah! 